one of those organisations not often recognised by this city, but duly uh, honoured and rightly, richly deserved. I'd like to move on then to the recommendation of the Freedom of the City panel um, that we award uh, April Ashley, uh, the Citizen of Honour, as one of the most uh, active and influential campaigners uh, for LGBT rights. April has become a landmark figure in British history. Her courageous and inspirational fight over the years has directly influenced the lives of many and the work she continues to do is nothing short of extraordinary. With the Liverpool Museum's April Ashley exhibition coming to a close uh, last month, I feel it is fitting and right that the city uh, offer this award to April as a citizen of honour of our great city. May can I second those proposals? Mm. And would any of the group leaders like to speak? Uh, right, so Councillor Crowe, who um, is now the leader of the Green Group, Councillor Crowe, then Councillor Kemp. Thank you, Lord Mayor. Uh, these four organisations, and also April Ashley, I think they encapsulate a lot of what Liverpool is about, um, our unique cultural offer, uh, our maritime history, and also our commitment to social justice and equality. So uh, on behalf of the Green Group, I uh, strongly support these suggestions. My Lord Mayor, what a wonderful city we live in to be able today to move these freedom honours to four magnificent organisations, some of whom are renowned internationally, uh, and to an individual who stood up for a type of freedom for a sexuality which, when she started in her campaign, was not recognised and, in fact, you could actually say it was revived. We have the Cunard Line, and I'm sure we're all looking forward to really celebrating that uh, next uh, month. The Whitechapel Centre, who for so long have given a dedicated service to some of the most needy in the city, so long that they even present my membership of the council. The Male Voice Choir, which represents a tradition which actually flowed over in many ways from the Welsh tradition in this city, and of course there is the uh, Welsh Choir uh, itself. And St Vincent's School, which isn't only a local institution and an organisation, but has say, played such an important part in setting new standards for education for the visually impaired, which have gone uh, throughout the rest of this country and in some cases with some of the students that they've had throughout the world. As I said to begin with, it's a privilege to be a member of a city which can come together to move freedoms from such diverse organisations and individuals as this. Thank you, Lord Mayor. In um, Councillor Rafford's absence, if anybody had any doubts about the riches of this city, it's well documented, they're not very, very rich at the moment in the military terms. If you have to look at the wide range um, of the freedoms here and at the City of, of Honour, it clearly establishes and shows just how rich this city, this city is. And while we continue to be as rich in all of these things, then I think we've got too much to worry about. Thank you, Lord Mayor. Vote on that. Agreed. Yes. Okay. And congratulations to those organisations <coughs> and to April Ashley as well. Lord Mayor, before you move on to item four, can I withdraw five way remains at this time? Uh, information has come to light that we need to, to check out and submit that list or the revised list to the AGM. Submitted by the groups will accept them or change or not. Okay. Uh, so, with the removal of a number of names um, in connection with the Labour group, yeah, uh, Councillor Dean, um, are the rest, yes, are the rest agreed? Yes, thank you. Right, we will now move straight to the next meeting.